Hi Taurus, welcome to your Mercury Transit Report for the Retrograde. If you are here at Cosmetology, welcome. And if you are um, um, if you are wondering where's the first part, we do upload it at e -Treat Love Inc. So make sure you watch the big report over there. Here we go to your Ascendant or your Moon Sign. So make sure that this is your Ascendant, meaning your Rising Sign. Or your moon sign because that's what we are discussing here the mercury in retrograde in Uttara Bhadrapada on March 5th and going on direct I believe on 28th or the 23rd but it's like like that okay I would have to check again it is a 28 <laughs> okay so now that you're ready and now that you're here let's see what's going what's going on with the Taurus for the Taurus ascendant okay let's see here rising okay so this is gonna be your rising sign here as far as your rising sign, it will happen now basically on your 11th house. Mercury is happening, um, going in retrograde in 11th house. From what I will explain to you, Taurus, Mercury during that time, uh, in you know, as far as like when, when I showed it to you, if it's an airplane, if it's an airport, it doesn't want to fly away, can't go fly away yet. Mercury is in station, it looks like it's going reverse, but it's not, but it's closer to the planet, so the effect is so big. Okay, because that's that's what we need to understand with retrograde. The planet is closer to us and we feel its effect and you're feeling it at your 11th house. Now, considering that it's in your 11th house and Mercury is debilitated right now here, so it's one thing it's retrograde, it's another thing that it's debilitated. With your 11th house, this is your dreams right now. There's a sense of feeling that it's just like, cause remember, this is the Kundalini part and awakening of it, realizing what you're called for, what your dream is, but not being able to take action because you're not supposed to. It's supposed to level up first before okay, you take action. 11th house also is your friends. But do be careful because this is your natural 11th, but this is also um, this is also the natural 12. Okay, as far as your rising sign, it's your 11th house. There can be some sort of duplicity with regards to friendship and relationship there can also be a sense of feeling that um if you have a partner okay that they could be keeping something from you but more chances i feel like it's more of your friends so be be watchful of that one 11th house is also the part where um how to say this this is where because after your 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 calling i feel like this is where you're gonna be going meaning it's like okay you go to your work and this is where you Take, um, it's not about relaxation, but it's where you feel kind of comfortable, but not not related to your fourth house. So there is some sort of um, feeling of uncomfortable right now. Like after work, you feel like, oh, it's just like I'm so tired, you know, this is and that. But it's slowly surfacing towards you to understand this things okay because remember the otara badrapada is a snake. It's the awakening. It's kundalini. So there's something related to it spiritually. So remember that this transit is giving us a spiritual awakening overall, okay? And it's happening in your 11th house, okay, Taurus? So I hope that this, um, this uh, short bit of information that we try to give out 
as much as we can <laughs> okay but sooner or later we'll be expanding it more but right now we're just going to be reporting on march 5th to um for the retrograde um, we do have remedy okay that what that's what you have seen earlier those are the things that i myself would be working with so that i don't get much of an influence with regards to mercury being in your 11th house I was also looking at it only in the perspective of the uh, of your 11th. I, you know, I didn't discuss other planets, but we're just zoning in to Mercury being retrograde in this house. Okay, so thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful March, and I'll see you again. Bye.